Hi, Nathan here. Welcome to the Game Pass review series. We now be going through Game Pass library, selecting a game, playing it, and then reviewing it. If you have any suggestions what game I should play next for my next Game Pass review, please let me know in the comments below. With that being said, this week's review will be Streets of Rage 4. Ten years after defeating gang leader Mr X in Streets of Rage 3, Wood Oak City is now controlled by new crime syndicates which is led by Mr X's children, the Y Twins. They plan to brainwash citizens with hypnotic music. Although the story isn't the strongest, it comes across as light hearted fun even going as far as highlighting its own bizarre plot holes. The story is presented to us through very well drawn comic strips which appear at the end of each level and as crazy as the game events are it gives us another reason to get the gang back together to clean up the streets once again. Streets of Rage 4 doesn't shy away from its roots purposely playing like a 90s beat em up side scroller so the fans of the original games feel right at home. The progress system revolves around high scores with the player unlocking characters and extras such as artwork by gaining more points. This process makes high score feel very prestigious and worth trying to achieve. The graphics in Streets of Rage 4 are much more modern than the previous titles with the game choosing to drop the pixelated style and update to today's standards. The new style comes down to individual preferences, but I personally appreciate the clean cut art direction of comic and cell shader style. Streets of Rage 4 music perfectly fits the speed em up side scroller style. The music gels very well with the stages, creating an atmosphere fitting for each level. However, as much as I like the music in the game, I don't feel like any of the songs stand out and are too easy forgotten once the game is completed. The stages in this game come in a huge variety such as police station, Chinatown, art gallery and even a rave. This does a good job of keeping the play engaged and means that the game doesn't get stale. In total this game contains 12 stages ranging from around 4 minutes to 12 minutes long. Completing the story on normal difficulty took me about 2.5 hours which is definitely on the short side of things and I wish it was a lot longer than that. At the end of each level you're met with a boss fight and these are good for the most part. A lot of them mix up the gameplay from your typical gangs of thugs. There's a fair few that are kind of generic and forgettable, but there are some truly standout boss fights in this game, and some of them you can even unlock later as a bonus counter which I really liked. In addition to these boss fights, there's actually a boss fight mode when you will have to go against all the boss fights back to back with just a single health. Now this isn't anything we've not seen before, but it is a good way to increase your high score to unlock even more bonus counter for replay value. Streets of Rage 4 has a total of 5 main characters, 3 returning and 2 new. In addition to these, you can unlock bonus characters from previous series who play the same as they did in their original game. For example, Streets of Rage 1 Axel has a smaller moveset compared to the current game main characters because he stays true to how he was played in his original game he came from. This means he's at a disadvantage by today's standards though he was not limited back in his original game Streets of Rage 1. All of the 5 main characters feel completely different to each other. Axel is a very good choice for beginners because he has decent strength and is a good all rounder. Floyd is a slow but powerful character, he also has the best grab in the game as he can grab multiple enemies at once. Cherry is by far the fastest character and is the only one who can sprint. She can easily increase the combo streak due to her speed but lacks any power behind any of her attacks. Adam's move seems to focus on crowd control, with most of his attacks hitting multiple characters at once. 
blaze has good range with her projectiles and is also decent with aerial attacks. This game introduces new mechanics with special attacks. Each character has special attacks that is unique to them and complements their playstyle. These attacks help to modernize the 90s retro playstyle. Although the specials are powerful, they come with a price. By using the attacks, the player loses health. However, the health is not permanently lost, it turns into grey health and can be gained back by successively hitting your opponent without getting hit yourself. Another addition to the combat is star finishers. These can be gained in two ways, simply by picking up stars and achieving high scores within levels. Each character's star finisher is very powerful and has invincibility startup to help you get out of sticky, crowded situations. Like you would expect from a Streets of Rage game, each level has weapons that you can pick up throughout. Each weapon has its own use and can now be caught mid-air helping players keep their combo streaks. As in all Streets of Rage games, you can play the whole thing in co-op via local play and now also online play. In this mode, both players have to share the same combo streak. The benefits of this is that it makes it easier to get a high streak due to both players contributing, so essentially getting double the hits that you would get in single player. That being said, if one player gets hit, then both players lose the streak, which balances out the advantage. Streets of Rage 4 does a great job adding modern day mechanics to a 90s old side scroller beat em up with just the right amount of nostalgia that doesn't overstay its welcome. We have still room to improve with a much needed longer story. Streets of Rage 4 is in the best state it has ever been and if you are a member of Game Pass I would definitely recommend this as soon as you can. If you enjoyed this review please give the channel a subscribe and tell us what you think in the comments below. Or check out our other videos when Adam does an excellent job of reviewing Neon Abyss. I've been Nathan, I'll see you in the next video and more importantly, GG's.